Welcome to EEDE News. We've been sharing with you some of the more lighthearted aspects of ship life, but let's get into some of the heavy work. What you'll see next is a launch of the Remus 6000. This is what it takes to search the ocean floor at about 18,000 feet deep. In order to get the vehicle prepared and, and ready to go in the water for a mission, the vehicle is, is inside one of these Connex boxes, which is set up in order to work on the vehicle. It has tools and cranes and uh, electronics in it to get the vehicle ready for a mission. Ready, so before each mission, the vehicle is totally checked out and prepared, and it should be all prepared in order to go over the side and into the water. When we get the vehicle checked out and we're getting close to our launch position, uh, the vehicle is pulled out on its sled and loaded into the LARS, the Launch and Recovery System. sequences really happen in uh, two locations. There's the, uh, the physical aspects of getting the vehicle over the side um, through the air water interface off the stern of the ship using the uh, launch and recovery system back aft. Uh, but also here up forward we're continuously monitoring the vehicle. We're doing its uh, last pre-mission checkouts while it's on that launch frame. Um, checking both its uh, communication systems with the GPS, the satellite communications, uh, reviewing its mission profile, and checking some last critical items before it goes over the side of the water. From there, it is lowered over to the side and released. And then while we're actually towing it, we have another whole uh, in the water checkout um, for sensor integrity, uh, vehicle ground faults, items like that. And that's all done here at the console, uh, logged and archived. And then when the, uh, the, when the vehicle presents itself as being ready and passes those checks. And on deck, the uh, vehicle looks good. We're able to relay and communicate to the deck crew that it's okay to uh, go ahead and launch the vehicle and essentially let it free from the ship. So that it can be pulled to the bottom by a descent weight, and once it reaches the bottom, it will drop that descent weight and swim on to do its mission over the next 20 hours. And next, you'll see what it takes to get the Remus back on the ship with the most valuable thing, the data. I'm Marika Lorraine, along with photojournalist Bill Mills with EEDE News.